Yo, hello. Yo and hello. How are you, Mike? That's a great intro. Thanks, man. I mean, mine or the uh, video? You know, yours. Oh, okay. gotcha. <laughs> the yo and hello, that could stick. Yeah. I, I might try that. <laughs> I'm going to get a t-shirt made, I think. That'd be awesome. There you go. Hey, it's, uh, as I said to you off air, it's that week between football and baseball. What are you going to do this week? with your sports life between football and baseball just shop for cards is the combine here yet do we have the hype the quarterbacks first releases oh, all that God. stuff not who yet cares? who cares <laughs> exactly <laughs> hey let's talk uh talk let's talk history baseball history okay uh um, i like that yeah baseball history is fun and some of it actually uh some of it actually entails modern history. I had an idea that maybe we should name, in our opinions, and our opinions are probably similar, the faces of the franchise for each franchise, baseball franchise. Uh, I kind of went through this in my head, and it was, it was kind of wild, Michael, because uh, there's a mix of uh, old, middle ages, and, and modern. It's pretty fun. Uh, I don't know what you're giving, getting any thought, but what do you think? Well, what if we did it even breaking it down to of all time for the franchise and then the current face of the franchise? Oh, man, that's going to be hard. <laughs> that's going to be very hard for me. But we can give it a whirl. We can at least think, is it a different person or not? And maybe think of who it could be and maybe brainstorm that. And gotcha. obviously, these are going to be our opinions. And so everybody's welcome to comment on what they think, right? So... This is a thinking person's game. So uh, shout it out. Uh, I know it's the same old people being interviewed on this program, but maybe we can uh, get some <laughs> fresh ideas in the chat room. Uh, let's start with the Baltimore Orioles. What do you think about the Baltimore? Give me the face of the franchise, the Baltimore Orioles. Historically, it's Cal Ripken Jr. I'd have to agree with that. But you could make an argument for Brooks Robinson. You could, but I think Cal uh, – Cal had seasons where I think he had like three or four errors at, errors at shortstop, and he did what he did with the bat, right? So yeah. I think Cal is uh, undisputed in Baltimore um, for sure. Uh, what about now? What's the fra face of the franchise now? Couldn't name any of them. Would it be Adley Rushman? Sure. Like that? Sure, I believe you. 100%, okay. I believe you. <laughs> what about the St. Louis Browns from where Baltimore became the Baltimore Orioles? St. Louis Browns. Well, I'm thinking of Satchel Page of right off the top of my head. 1953. That's what you're thinking of. But what about Pete Gray? Uh, I don't think so, man. I think you need a hand with that. And it's uh, Rogers Hornsby. Not Rogers George. Hornsby. Uh, no, George Sisler. George Sisler. Yeah. I put, yeah. Uh, well, did Hornsby play with the Browns too? It would be Sisler. Yeah, Sisler. 254 hits. Is that what it was? Yes. It's crazy, man. Connie Mack's it's favorite underrated. first baseman, too, by the way. Underrated. So underrated, uh, yeah. George Sisley. And Rogers Hornsby, for that matter. Hornsby. I think Hornsby was on the Browns for a little bit, but he was at Cardinals, right? Yeah. Um, help me with the Tampa Bay Rays, whatever they're called. Devil Rays. Deviled mm. Eggs. Tampa Bay Deviled Eggs. I guess Evan Longoria would be the... Yeah, Man. him or uh, Price, right? Maybe Price, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, uh, but I Longoria is the first guy I think of. Yeah, they got a lot of talent right now, don't they? They, they win. <laughs> I know that. You go. There's no way. Oh, here they are again. You know, in the playoff hunt. I used to year. know one player on the current uh, Tampa Bay Rays team, but he he's no longer active. I don't think. So I wouldn't be able to tell you that. Currently, it's got to be a Rosarena. Okay. I don't want not, baseball. Not Wonder Franco. You don't want him to be the face of your know. franchise. Here's a tough one. Toronto Blue Jays. I don't think that's a tough one. I think if you ask a Blue Jays, and this is funny because I'd be curious if fans from that fan base, who would they say, Right. Like when we get to Red Sox for you or Phillies for you or Rangers for me, we'll, we'll get to that. But I would think Joe Carter would be the face of the franchise. 
Um, well, they've only been around since 1977. And uh, Dave Steve, hey, Halliday. Well, Steve would be the early, early, early history. I think yeah. Halliday had some good seasons there, right? So, uh, yeah. you know, problem with a lot of those guys in the early 90s, came, they all came and played a lot elsewhere, right? Joe Carter played a bunch of teams, Alomar played a bunch of teams. Uh, you have your guys like uh, Jesse Barfield and stuff like that are still local legends, but uh, I'm George going, Bell. yeah, George Bell, right? Uh, I'm still going to go with Halliday, in my opinion. I would go with Joe Carter, which is because he was yeah, part he of their, he was a key part of their success in 92, 93, right? He's the Bucky Dan of Philadelphia, by the way, <laughs> Joe Carter. <laughs> so. Mitch Williams still sends yeah. him a Christmas card. Is the Yankees a slam dunk? It's got to be Ruth. I thought I th my first thought is Ruth, but then you think there was a guy named the Yankee Clipper who was incredible, and there was Mantle. 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 Yeah, uh, I know you love hey. Gehrig, but I, you know, I, it's got to be Ruth, right? I think so. Yeah, but currently, I would say it's Aaron Judge. For sure, no doubt about that. Uh, Boston Red Sox. I think that that's very easy. Ted Williams. Yes. He's, he's not my favorite Red Sox player of all time, but, uh, he's definitely the face of that franchise. Uh, and they recently had a brilliant face of the franchise, but they let him go. Right. Mookie Betts. So who's the next man up? It's gotta be Devers right now. Devers. Okay. Yeah. It's a shame, man. Let, let Betts walk. Uh, pick a division other than the AL East. How about the NL Central? All right, I'm going to go by last year's standings. The Milwaukee Brewers. That's an easy one. It's got to be Hank Aaron. He only plays. Or is he part of the Braves franchise? He's part of the Braves franchise. Uh, then Robin Yount. Yes, that's who I'd say, Robin Yount. And uh, what about now? Who's playing there now in that ballpark, whatever it's called? Miller Park? Probably Corbin Burns. Okay. Pitcher. Be my guess. Maybe Yelich. Yelich. Okay. Uh, what about Braun? What about the, yeah. what about the Seattle Pilots? What do you got for the Seattle Pilots? Seattle Face of the Pilots. franchise. Yeah. The one year Seattle Pilots. Yeah. Uh, can you, no can you give me one name? You can, I, I can name more Seattle Pilots players than I can current Brewers players. Yeah, I have no idea. I'll give you Diego Sigui or uh, Don Michener, I guess. Okay. Or Ron Michener, whatever the heck his name is. One of those two. I thought you uh, said you could name him. You can't I even did. get his Yeah. One of the O'Brien brothers was a coach there, too. The famous 1954 O'Brien brothers. Chicago Cubs. Long, long history of mediocrity. Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks, for sure. Yep, I agree. Uh, Sandberg, some people would say Sandberg. I guess some junk waxers would say Sandberg, but I think uh, historians would say Banks. Um, who do they have left now? Uh, well, it's not Cody Bellinger. Okay. Carrie Wood, no. Um, <laughs> Mark Pryor. Mark Pryor. <laughs> we both say Mark Pryor at the same time. <laughs> Who Jake Arrieta, uh, current Cub face of the franchise. Golly, man, we need your help with this, man. I don't, I don't know who led you them know, in war. Last year? They, they have these little hyperlinks you can click. Nico Horner at a 5.1, yeah. uh, 5.1 war. Let them all. It's actually a pretty good war yeah. for a season. There's Nick Madrigal, Dansby Swanson. Oh, there you go. He might Cody be there. But he's gone, there right? Right? Years. Say a Suzuki, a fan favorite, perhaps. Yeah, Patrick Wisdom. Uh, Cincinnati Reds is an interesting one. It is. Could it be Johnny Bench? It should be, but I can't help to think it's not Pete Rose. I mean, he had 3,000 hits as a red, right? And uh, their history is kind of, it's not a brilliant history as far as uh, stars throughout 
So uh, we had you're obviously gonna, the the mid seventies dynasty, but yeah, but it was Bench and Rose then as well, right? Um, bench right. Was, bench Bench was the leader of that uh, charge, I think. But uh, Rose had a great sixties, and he had a wonderful seventies. So I'm going to say Rose. You're going to say Bench. You're going to be the uh, popular one, right? What about Probably. now? Talk to me about now. I think it's Ellie De La Cruz is their face of their franchise right now. Brand new uh, kid. Yeah, it's interesting. He played 98 games last year, batted 235. So, yeah, that's a good – I think that that's – it's not the best player, but he's the face of the franchise. Uh, this is another struggle. Uh, maybe it's not. The Pittsburgh Pirates. Mm. Well, I would say Wagner, but – I think Most if it was people. a popularity vote, it would be Clemente, well, right? When you describe what face of the franchise, does that mean the best player that's ever worn? No, when you think of when you think of that franchise, who do you think? Do of? You, I, I think of Honus Wagner, Roberto Clemente. Those are okay. two names that come to my mind. And Stargell did just as much as Clemente did, right? He did, he, but he but didn't Clemente die tragic. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I go with uh, Clemente because, uh, yeah, I go with Clemente. That's what I'm saying. And nowadays, you got a second generation kid led the war there last year. His dad used to play for the Phillies and the, the Yankees. I think it's Andrew McCutcheon currently. You think so? Man, yeah, he's, he's only, back. He's only 36. I swear he's 45 years old, right? He's only. <laughs> I say he's only 36, but I, he's been around so long. Yeah. Yeah. So McCutcheon is the – and what a woeful franchise it is. Uh, and that's not a knock on him. It's just those fans – those fans suffer, man. Unlike do. any other, it seems. St. Louis, this is an easy one, I think. Stan Musial would be my choice. I agree with that. They've had a lot of uh, – they have a, had a great early history of a lot of players, but um, usual – is that guy who is a modern day face of the franchise for the Cardinals? Uh, current Cardinals. I would think it's Arenado. Is the I agree. Face. Yeah. He's not the, I mean, they got Goldschmidt on there and Nolan Gorman, but I think Arenado is kind of like, he's everything you want in a player, I guess. You know? And he'll be a hall of famer someday. And if he, if he stays with the Cardinals and achieves, a lot of career milestones with the Cardinals. I think he'll kind of like Beltre, right? Even though he did, Arenado did had some great seasons with the Rockies. He could be going in as a Cardinal if he stays there another six or eight years. So here's a couple. Uh, who's number two? Do you think in that franchise? In terms it, of face. It, it, Nice. Yeah, I mean, would you think would a lot of people say Molina? Ooh. Or like Gibson, right? You get Gibson, yeah, but there's there's a, I mean, there, uh, obviously there, it depends on whom you would poll, but there were a lot of people if Molina's fresh in everybody's face and everybody's mind, right? Andy won multiple titles, right? But he's and not what, Go ahead. I don't know. He just he, he's if you're not from St. Louis, you just kind of he's kind of may. Right? He's like, yeah. Nobody you know, nobody loves him outside of St. Louis, I don't think. Right. What about if Pujols had done everything he did in his career and did it all in a St. Louis uniform? Would he? No doubt. He, he wouldn't would surpass. The stand? He wouldn't surpass Stan Usual, I don't think. But I think he would be number two. Easy. A lot of home runs, a lot of hits. Right. Yeah. Bad title. This, yeah. And he probably would have won. Uh, did he, he won a ring or two in St. Louis, didn't he? He won two, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, we are moving to another division. Um, I'm going to go to the AL Central, and we're going to work our way from the bottom up. Kansas City Royals, another slam dunk. George Brett. Yep. And uh, these days it would be their catcher, I guess, right? Yeah, Salvi. Yeah. So that was easy. Midwesterners make things so easy. Chicago, White Chicago Sox. White Sox, yeah. Joe Jackson. No, I'm just kidding. Um, 
Two seasons with the Philadelphia Athletics. I think he played in ten games. Joe Jackson. It's sad to that if it it should in, you would think face of the franchise. Who do you instantly think of when you think of that franchise, right? And think junk side, wax. Think junk wax. Harold Baines. Uh, it's gonna be Frank Thomas. Ah, okay. I like that. That's it's a, a tough one. one though for a gang that's been around for so long. Uh, it's, it's, I came up with Frank Thomas just because I almost by default, obviously a great player, but almost by default, because he can't say Nelly Fox or Minoso or Aparicio, you know, Aparicio. Ap yeah. You, you, and obviously Eddie Collins, you can't say him, even though he won a championship there. But, uh, nowadays, uh, that team is kind of in, you know, had a lot of young talent, but. It's not really coming together for him. Who do you have down now? I would say Luis Robert. I would have said Tim Anderson if he's wasn't a you know, he's gonna sign somewhere else now. Uh, you take Lou would, Bob over Eloy Jimenez, huh? I would. Okay. I hear Eloy's name more now, but uh maybe it's because I watch Zach and Porter too much. Um <laughs> but Tim and a Tim Anderson obviously is, you know, yeah. I'm That'd be a good choice too. Wouldn't begrudge that. Uh, Cleveland, the Cleveland Indians. This is uh, might be another tough one. Yeah, same problem. I mean, you've got is it Bob Feller? Is it? God, I'm trying to think. Is it Jim Tomey? Is it somebody from those '90s teams that were so good? All but time, yeah. All time though. I mean, you could Kenny Lofton was great, but I can't put Tomey in front of Feller. Right. right. Or, or Lajway. I mean, can you go back to Lajway? Well, could it be Cy Young? You know, but he didn't, yeah. he spent some seasons there. Yeah. I get him. Like you said, I mean, not Lajway. I'd have to say Feller. I agree with Feller. I mean, not too many people remember that the, the franchise was actually named after Lajway at one point, but Feller uh, spent his entire career there and he was, he was amazing. Um, yeah. Detroit Tigers. So we, didn't talk, we didn't talk about the current Indians. I'm sorry. I would say Jose Ramirez. Is there. I didn't know they were still active. Uh, <laughs> Jose Ramirez. Okay. There you go. I'll take your word for it. Let's get over to Detroit. I think that that is another all time great. That's not. Al Kaline. I disagree with you there. Okay. Ty Cobb. I say the Georgia Peach. I mean, well, the, what these guys said about him in. Uh, glory of their times. They all pointed him as the best player of the era. So K line was great. K line was one of those rare guys that I think he beat the bonus baby system and had a successful career, but can't put him ahead of Cobb. They came in second won place. Huh? Title at 19, right? What's that? What's that? K line won batting title at 19. Yeah, it's amazing, huh? It's pretty nuts. Three, what he had, three thousand hits and like three hundred ninety nine home runs or something. You know? Yeah, because Yaz was the first of four hundred and three thousand in the AL, which is another phenomenal stat at the time. I'd like to say that Miggy is the face of the franchise currently, but he's just retired, right? So I have a sentimental favor, just because I like to say his name, Akil Badu. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what he does, but I really love that name. Um, Javi Baez, maybe? Spencer. And Spencer. Okay. Yeah, he's a young up-and-comer, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, by the way, kudos to the uh, Tigers for never changing their home uniforms ever. Appreciate that. It's a, it's a rarity in this modern age. Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota is a daily double. We get two teams for the price of one here. So are we doing the Washington Senators and the Minnesota Twins? We are. Start with the Senators. That'll be a quick one. Uh, those Senators, I don't know. Walter Johnson. Ah, yeah. easy. Yeah. Yep. Better than Cy Young, in my opinion, because he did it in a dead ball era and the live ball era. A rare feat. Indeed. Uh, nowadays, the uh, Minnesota Twins from 1960 or 61 on, what do you think? Carew, Oliva. I'm going even later than you are. 
AJ Przinsky. I'm going to go with Puckett because he ah, two, two rings, right? And great point. Yeah, that's kind, a good of the, kind of the heart and soul of that team. I mean, it 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 sucks that Killebrew gets you know I don't know whether it's personality or does he spread it over two two different uh, two different uh, cities, but I uh, I think Puckett's the guy. Yeah. How's how are they doing? They got a they don't have a very young team over there. Carlos well, they, Correa, is he the face of the franchise? I don't know. Um, it's got to be right now. Maybe, actually, maybe it's uh, who's their outfielder, the young guy. That's bothering you me. You have uh, the young guy would be, uh, well, there's Joey Gallo, Michael Taylor, and Max Kepler. Neither, no, neither, no. neither of whom are no, young. Maybe, maybe it's their third baseman. Um, Royce Lewis. Yes. Okay. That's who I'm thinking of. Okay. Uh, not much in the pitching department, but uh, nobody pitches very well these days anyway. Uh, let's go to the Colorado Rockies. All time Todd Hilton. Okay. I'm not going to argue with you I there. And I don't know what they have going on now. What about now? I have no don't idea. <laughs> uh, let's pick this, the guy with the war. Nolan Jones. We'll call Nolan Jones the face of the franchise. Congratulations, uh, congratulations Nolan. What's that? I said congratulations, Nolan. Congratulations. How about the Giants? The New York Giants and the San Francisco Giants. Willie Mays. For, for same for both cities, or are you going to take Mel Ott, New York? Ooh. Carl Hubble. Christy Mathewson. Uh, Christy Mathewson, old New York Giants, Willie Mays, San Francisco Giants. It, Mays could have swept that, but I, I agree with you there. Uh, yeah. San Diego Padres. I don't want to talk uh, about the current Giants. Faith, the franchise. Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn. Uh, I agree with that. It's a wonderful choice. Uh, and they're a mess now. I don't know who's running that ship, but so it would much be Machado. Talent. Machado? Machado. Yeah. Okay. Soto left, right? He's in New York. Yep. Not Tatis because he can't stay off the motorbikes. Uh, <laughs> Arizona Cardinals, help me out with that. Arizona Diamondbacks, you mean? Yeah, Arizona Cardinals, football guy. Uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. Face of the franchise, Luis Gonzalez. Okay. That's a tough one, though, isn't it? Yes. I mean, you feel like saying Randy Jones or Randy Johnson. I don't know. can't pronounce anybody's name today. Randy Johnson, or, but I see him in a Diamondbacks uniform. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they got they got a good young team. All right? I don't know. Do. Whether, it's Corbin Carroll now, right? He's the guy? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Uh, let's see here. L.A. Dodgers, another two for one here. L.A. Ooh. Dodgers and Brooklyn Dodgers. Is Brooklyn easier for you than L.A.? No, Brooklyn's not easier. I mean, people think Jackie Robinson, and that's not a bad choice, I would think. Another guy there that played a long time. Was pretty successful, right? Shortstop. Yeah, Pee Wee Reese. Duke, Duke Snyder. Um, Campanella. Yeah. My my those. my inclination would be uh, Pee Wee Reese, but just just because of length of service. Fair enough. And he didn't make it to L.A. Right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he did. He, he yeah, made he it did. to L.A. Okay, mm -hmm. I thought he retired after '56, but I guess not. No, oh, no, you're uh, right. His, no, his last card is. Is it '56 or fifty? I thought he had a '58. I don't know. I have this little computer here that might be able to tell me. What about L.A.? Face of the franchise in L.A. Koufax? Yeah, I'd say Koufax. Um, I'd say Koufax. Some could argue Garvey. You know, he was there for however many, 10 years playing first base. But I would say Koufax. Koufax, I think a California ball in the early 60s, mid-60s, I think, a Koufax. Pee Wee Reese played one season in L.A. in 1958. There you go. He made $30,000. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I would say today it's Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, for uh, first balloter, perhaps. I think he's the. Yeah, I think he's the last of the great pitchers. I've seen a couple of them right now, but he's a stud for sure. Uh, another division. Let's go to this is a tough one. Uh, the A's have played in many places: Philadelphia, Kansas City, and Oakland. And um, soon to be Las Vegas, maybe. Possibly, yeah. They possibly or Sacramento or Salt Lake City. How about the Oakland A's? Oakland A's. They have a longevity problem there. They had a lot of they great do. players that played there for a handful of years. Could you say Reggie? I would say Reggie. Some would say Ricky. Ricky buffed mm. back and forth, but Ricky made a quick exit. I was surprised that I think the first his first go around there was for like five or six years, and then he came yep. back. But I would say twice. Between, uh, twice. He came back two other times. And then you have McGuire and Canseco. Um, Reggie came back. He played his last. He did. Yeah. You're right. Game. Yeah. In Good fact. Life. I have right here, literally just because a Reggie 88 clear on the A's. Oh, look at that. Is that a update or is that a regular issue? It's regular. Okay. This is an update year. on one of them. 87 Good tops. Reggie. Good old Reggie. Uh, I'm going with Reggie. Uh, Kansas City A's, I guess we can say uh, Roger Maris maybe, just because there was nobody else. What about the Philadelphia Athletics? Oh gosh, uh, so many good teams. They they too suffered from uh, short termitis because of Connie Mack selling them, selling players off. I would say Jimmy Fox, but you know he Eagle did really Fox. well. Yeah. Do, triple know. crown. He won a triple crown. A couple rings in Philadelphia. I'm going to go with Lefty because uh, Lefty Grove because he's I your love favorite. Him. He's my favorite. Yes. L.A. Angels. California Angels of Anaheim, Los Angeles Angels of Orange County, Orange County Angels of Los Angeles. That's uh, an be, interesting one. It could be Mike Trout for the entire entirety, both current. He might be the only one that's current and forever. I agree with that. I agree with that 100% because Nolan Ryan spent a better part of a decade there, but was kind of second fiddle to Frank Tanana. And then they had a bunch of, Carew spent half of his career in Minnesota. So uh I I agree with uh I agree Reggie with that. was there, Dave Winfield was there, you know. Yeah, yeah, everybody had, was there. Yeah, yep. even Eddie Murray played there for a little bit. Yeah. So did Ricky Anderson. Ricky Anderson you know? played everywhere. He had a toothbrush in every uh home clubhouse. Uh Ricky that's Anderson, a good one. Yeah. Ricky Anderson's a great immaculate grid answer. <laughs> I don't, I always blank out. Now, Ricky Henderson also played for the Seattle uh, Mariners. He did, and the Boston Red Sox. Yeah, the Boston Red Sox. So, who is uh, the face of that franchise all time? That should be easy, right? Which one? The Mariners. Yeah, King Griffey. Yes, I agree. One point we thought it was going to be uh, Alvin Davis, but that turned out to be fool's gold. So, uh, Griffey for sure. Yeah, uh, I don't think so. And A -Rod I think the was there, Cubs, Randy Johnson could have been A Rod could have been A Rod if he'd have stayed. No uh, doubt about who the current face is, right? Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez, twenty-two years old. Yeah, wish him many, many fruitful years in the Pacific Northwest. He's actually this, the favorite to win AL MVP this year. Yeah. No, I, I just saw you. the odd. Oh, you mean in twenty twenty four? I was going to say they yeah. haven't announced twenty twenty three yet. What about Texas Rangers? That's uh, so, I think that that's I think that that's tough. Well, it's weird because if you asked a local who the face of the franchise is all time, it's Michael Young. Okay, and and everyone else would say Nolan Ryan, right? But if you ask hmm. a local here, we're going to say Michael Young. Okay, and, fair enough. I know you, Michael Young. You have. Uh, uh, a unhealthy attraction uh, to Michael <laughs> Young, but I get it, man. What do they have going on now there? Are they doing anything down there? Texas? You, know, you oh. know, winning series and stuff, I guess, if that's important. Um, it's Corey Seager. Is Corey the face Seager. There. Okay. Yeah. I believe you. 
All right, moving on to uh, Washington senators, by the way. I guess that would have to be Frank Howard, the second senators. Yes. Mike, Mike Epstein, I don't know. What about <laughs> Houston? You're in You're in uh, interstate rivals. Uh, probably Biggio. Maybe Biggio, Bagwell. Biggio, Bagwell, that's a good one. I, I think it's no doubt that it's Altuve now, right? Yes. He may, he may fight for all-time supremacy if he does well for another five years, I would think. Because so Bagwell and Biggio don't like, they don't move the needle that much. Altuve is polarizing, but he's also, you know, he's out there. He puts himself out there. So, And he's won rings, whereas rings. Biggio and Bagwell, they went to the World Series, but they never won, I don't think. Yeah. So. Yeah. He's, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't mind Altuve. I mean, the guy's five foot six, right? He's three batting titles. Eight-time All-Star MVP, two two rings. He's done. Uh, he's done a lot. So, uh, so you go with one of the B's, Bagwell or Biggio? Okay, I'd pick Biggio, but if I had to pick, one. I I was going to say Terry Poole, but obviously that will not work. We're down to one division, uh, the Washington uh, Nationals. Could it be Steven Strasburg? Yeah, you know what? That's absolutely like that's who I would think of if I if I thought of Washington. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because he didn't switch teams like Harper did or Soto or right. You know, yeah, or could it be Ryan Zimmerman? A lot of people. Uh, would I don't say. know, man. Strasburg is like kind of kind of grew up with a franchise, right? I don't know how long they had been in Washington before he came along, but he was been tied to that franchise for a very long time. Well, Zimmerman was an OG, sent, you know, Washington National, and stayed there his whole career. So, what about the Montreal Expos? Oh wow, Gary Carter. Yeah, Carter and Dawson would be your two, uh, but Carter, absolutely Carter. I think, even though he had his, he won his ring somewhere else, and Dawson won his MVP somewhere else. But yeah, yep, Gary Carter, uh, New York Mets. All time, Tommy Ag. Really? No, I was going to say. Dude, surprised you pulled that out of your your derriere. I'm just doing some '70s reminiscing since I'm talking to you. Oh, he's a uh, '70s guy. I think the face of the franchise is a '70s guy. Uh, face of the franchise, David Wright. I'm going with Tom Seaver. Tom, terrific. Ah, there you go. I like that one. A lot of people my age would say that they grew up Mets fans because Mets had some cold years after Seaver left. Um, For sure. But I think that uh, I think that they would all. I think a lot of people would say Tom, terrific. What about the Miami Marlins? Uh, oh, now it'd be Pete Alonso, by the way, for the Mets. Oh, okay. I got you. Miami Marlins. Face of Dar the franchise. Darren D Darren Dalton could a manager be the fra face of the franchise? Jack McKeon, maybe. Jim Leland. Um, Jim Leland. Mike Lowell, a third. Man, uh, oh. who was that first baseman? Jeff Conine. It could be Jeff <laughs> Conine. Oh, you know what? I have it. This is this is a no doubter in my mind. Charles Johnson. Charles Johnson. All that right. guy was a heck of a catcher, man. He was. Imagine University of Miami, if I remember right. Imagine catching in Miami, right? There's just had to be brutal. Yeah. Kind of, I mean, you did it in Texas, but uh, uh, who is the face of the franchise now? Uh, Solar is that the guy? Jorge, Jorge? Soler. Who, no, Jorge it's uh, Soler? Luis Arias. Luis, Luis Arias. Okay. All right. I believe you. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Philadelphia Phillies. Okay, this is kind of easy for me. It's Bake McBride. Ar we call him Arnold McBride. <laughs> <laughs> Bake, uh, al Bake always looked so, he looked like he was in pain in every baseball card photo ever. Did you like how I pulled Bake McBride out of my dairy that there? Was, that was nice, man. That was How about Mike Schmidt? That's my face. I agree. And as Ray and I recently did a show on Philadelphia, uh, there's a lot of great players in Philly's history, but my, everybody thinks of Mike Schmidt. 
Absolutely. Currently, there's no doubt about that either, right? Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper, yep. And uh, it's a coincidence, but I guess we have the Atlanta Braves, another daily double. Uh, Atlanta Braves. Atlanta Braves, Milwaukee Braves, or Boston Braves? Which one? Atlanta Braves first. Uh, Atlanta Braves. Chipper? It's hard to put a pitcher in there, you know, um, like Maddox or or Glavin or Smoltz, right? They were all so yeah. good. So, so good players. One? What about Murphy? Maybe. I think Hank played there for 10 years. That's not bad either. Right. I mean, but I would went, put he went to Milwaukee, right? He went to Milwaukee Braves. And Boston Braves has got to be Ruth as well because they were so I terrible. Have, I would I would say Spawn. Okay. He only played for the Boston Braves, though. How many years was he in Boston? Well, they moved Number. in 53, right? Yeah, so five years. You know how I knew they moved in 53? Because his 53 Bowman color has B on it. Well, half of the uh, 53 tops Braves are Boston, and the other half are Milwaukee. Huh. Okay. Yeah. He played there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Went to war for three years, uh, eight years. Uh, three 20 game winners, four 20. That's not bad. Four 20 game winners. I could go spawn in Boston. Boston. Hank in Milwaukee, and then you, you go with get, you want to get Chipper in there, don't you? Well, I, I just I don't know what Braves fans would say. Now it's Acuna, of course, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean that that would be tough. Maddox, Glavin, Murphy, Chipper Jones, and Bob, Bob Horner. Horner. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. <man. laughs> Uh, I don't like Chipper. I think Chipper's that guy that uh, like would stick your his finger in your sandwich in the cafeteria and just keep walking by just because he he was the baseball star. Uh, and being a band geek, I didn't appreciate that that much. Gotcha. I'll go. I am never too high on. Uh, I'm never high enough on Dale Murphy. I don't. I don't give him the respect he deserves. But I'm going to go with a guy who slugged it out with no help around him. I'm going to go with Murphy. Okay. You know, Chipper well, I, played with everybody, right? McGriff. Terry, Terry Pendleton. Ter, ter, you know how many rings Terry Pendleton has? Zero. It's crazy. I, I don't know how many. I think he's lost like four or five World Series. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, think about it. He was He came. It was Cardinals for a long he time. He was in the middle of the Cardinals dynasty, right? In and out of that. And then he came over to Atlanta. So he's played uh, – he lost to the Kansas City Royals in 85, the Minnesota Twins in 87, the um, Minnesota Twins in 91. <laughs> he lost to Toronto in 92, and he lost to uh, somebody in 96. He didn't play on oh, the, the 95. Yankees. Yeah. No, he didn't, he didn't play, play on the 95. No. Okay. He was in uh, Florida uh, in 1995. <laughs> he had a dude like, how about that? One, two, three, four. He lost five World Series, and he played on two dy dynastic teams, one in the 80s and one in the 90s. And yeah. Anyway, it. that's that. That's uh, It's not Terry Pendleton then. All right, man. Well, that's that. Uh, that wasn't too uh painful no let's see what uh, everyone else puts for their favorite teams there's going to be some error bias don't you think there's going to be some error bias of course um, of course we even well, had error bias bias uh, i don't know man i think I, I think we did pretty good like uh you know trout was a great double down right and uh you know i i don't know i, I I'm, I'm frank thomas there was enough people in the last 30 years that uh, didn't just keep us old timers engaged in the, uh, the, the back in the yonder days. So that's what baseball is all about, right? It's all about debating and, and arguing and, 
using stats to prove your point or disprove somebody else's. So uh, as Mike says, let us know how you feel in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching, listening, and doing all that other stuff. Got anything to say for yourself there, Mike? Did you take an edible before we went on here? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Man. All right. Well, maybe you should. All right. All right. Take, take that edge off a little. All right, man. We're out of here. Oh, too funny.